Are you looking for some real quick and easy Batania mana generation? Do you want to fill a pool in under 20 seconds? Do you want to get an SS Terra Shatter with little to no effort? Did you answer no to any of these questions? If you did, you're absolutely ridiculous. But really guys, I'm going to show you a crazy mana setup that requires very little to set up. It only requires one mod, and that's modular routers. And now for the speed test. The mana pool is currently empty, so let's press this button and watch it work. It is rather fast. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Is it on the cheaty side? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's on the cheaty side. So if you don't want to play cheaty, I totally get it. But just remember that sometimes there's other areas people want to play and Batania might not be one of them. So maybe that gives them time to focus somewhere else. And of course, if you have not heard by now, you can call me Zoofy Zuffy Zufi or Zoof. And this is Zoofology. Now I'm going to start this off with a 3x3 area. On top of all this overgrowth seed that I'm placing, I'm going to put Rosa Arcana. This is going to allow Rosa Arcana to generate twice as much mana. Now I want to place some Gaia spreaders on top of those. Now you want to make sure that each one of these Rosa Arcanas are bound to the Gaia spreader directly above them. And be sure not to forget about the center one. And now I'm gonna make sure there's lenses on all of these. Okay, now I can place a mana pool above that with one space in between. So now I'm gonna grab my wand of the forest and I'm going to apply it and assign it to all of these. Now I can go ahead and build out my battery. All right, here's our five by five. Now, all of these are pointed into the center, like I mentioned earlier. So what I want to do next is grab yet another mana pool. And I'm personally going to put this one higher just so I can hide it cosmetically. If I want to. I'm going to place four bellows around it, like that. All of them pointing in. And that's going to allow me to throw my Terra Shatter in here and it just kind of fill up rather quickly. About as fast as this can actually generate mana. So I don't see a need for four pools. I know you can throw it dead center in the middle of four pools, but I don't see a need for that. So I'm going to leave it like this. Now I want to apply a spark to every single pool here. And of course, we got to make sure we hit the top pool as well. So I want to put a dominant spark on the very top and a recessive spark on this middle pool. There we go. That's the spark in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and place a few routers facing in. I'm going to do four, one on each side. And I already have these routers configured a specific way. I have vacuum modules in all of them with XP vacuum augments in them. And I have the XP type set to bottle of enchanting. And then all nine of these activators, however many it is, are going to have front assigned and we want look below and of course speed upgrades nine speed upgrades and set the redstone mode to low and that's going to be for all four of these routers now at the front of it it doesn't matter which side you decide is the front i'm going to place some type of inventory on top of this router and i'm going to place another router this router is going to help it so that it doesn't run out of XP as quickly. Now we have a polar module, Mark 1, and this is set to pull from the chest or the inventory underneath it. And then it's going to distribute. Now it is going to distribute to all four of these routers at the bottom. And I want a regulator augment in it. And we're going to set that regulator augment to one. Transfer out of router. All of that is fine. Now I'll put this back and make sure your sender is sent 
to down and give it a vacuum module with bottles of enchanting whitelisted and nine speed upgrades. You can do stack if you want as well. So now I have an industrial switch link receiver, a industrial switch link transmitter and an industrial comparator switch. I'm gonna need four of these receivers. So it'll look something like this. And I'm going to put one on the back of each of these routers or top, whichever direction you want. So one on each side. Now I'm gonna grab two pearls and apply them to each one of these. I'm going to now grab a transmitter. This is gonna be our manual on off switch. So we decide when it runs. And I'm gonna put one pearl of each set in this. I'll grab my comparator switch and put it onto any of these pools that are not the center pool. And again, put all of the pearls into it. I'm going to use the yellow arrow here and set this to one, find the right side that increases. And then I'm going to set this to around, I'll do 15. Well, we'll do 14. No, I'm going to do 15. All right, so I'm going to set it to 15. So now it will send a redstone signal when it's completely full and keep that redstone signal until it is down to one. What that's going to do is when your battery is completely full, it stops running and then it will stay stopped running until it gets to one, well, one fifteenth of the way full, empty. And then it will turn back on until it gets to full again. So now technically it's running right now, but if I turn this on, it's off. Now I'm gonna grab about 16 bottles of enchanting and I'm gonna put them all in here and I'm gonna start it. As you can tell, it's actually very loud. So I'm gonna grab some burger mutes here. That's a lot better. And you may notice it's got more bottles than it started with. Now there are some upgrades that you can actually make to this. Um, one of them being adding sync upgrades to all of these uh, routers with the activators in them and assign them all to the same channel. And now it's a lot less uh, obnoxious when they're making all this racket, all this noise. So the other thing you can do is come into this router, the one that's um, right underneath your chest and set it to send up. Oh, it just turned off. So you got to see what happens whenever it does fill up. You can see that it did indeed fill up. So now it shouldn't actually turn on until it's completely empty again. All right, I've got it emptying rather quickly. I've got a bunch of terror shatters in this thing. Just kind of speed it up emptying. You can hear that they're not on just yet. And there it goes. It, they all turned on. Perfect. And now it should stay on until it's up to full again. Now the, imp the other improvement that I was talking about, um, it will now send bottles up into this. So now it, can it will actually stockpile bottles. So you can see it actually increasing. It's at 17 stacks now. And now it's just about at 18 stacks now. So now it will never run out, guaranteed. Because this is then pulling from that and then distributing. And there you have it. Quick and easy mana generation. And you never have to touch it again. It's closed loop and you don't have to pipe anything into it. It just works. Thanks again to everyone who watched the video. If the video helped you out, be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe because I will be making some more tutorials and just following through with my playthrough. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one and I'll see you later.